Hey guys, and welcome back to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and in this character spotlight, we're taking another look at Nozomi. She just got her six-star upgrade not long ago. We got her upgraded. She's pretty good before. Oh, she got better now. Let's get to it. As, as you can see, I prepped for this character. I had everything I needed to get her to the six star, except for the uber crazy shards you need in the very hard mode. And I grinded those as quick as I could. But of course, on a Saturday, when I really needed them, I did it twice, I did it once, I, did the, I paid the jewels for the refresh, did it again, and got zero. And that's during the double drops. I got, ooh, I was not happy with that. And if you do three of them, you should get guaranteed at least one drop. Somebody mentioned that, good idea. Very good idea. Keeps you from getting mad. All right, let's go ahead and get into her skills as usual. Skill number one, Claire Slash, a small frontline damage attack and a minor stun. It's a quick stun, quick attack, nothing much to it. Eh, it's all right. Skill number two, Idle Ale. Actually, it's Idle Cheer. I did this, is back, I did this back when I thought it was Ale, because Ale, because people drink a lot or something. But it actually means like a cheer, so it's Idle Cheer. Makes more sense, don't it? Small heal for allies around you. Real simple heal, but it's actually a, it's, it's a nice heal. It, it's, it's actually a pretty nice heal, so I'm not going to knock that. EX skill increases physical defense, and if you happen to have her at 5 stars or higher, physical defense increase and even a magic defense increase. The magic defense increase is itty-bitty or whatever, but you know, the physical defense is good. The other one, eh, a little bit of magic defense don't hurt, all right? That's perfectly fine. Now, before I get to the universe and everything, I'm going to go ahead and do the special equipment, the unique equipment. Which might, I got level 200 maxed out. Stupid. I spent time on this. It is the brilliant microphone. It upgrades the Claire Slash, skill number one, to do more damage, still has its stun, and reduces frontline enemy attack power. So, kind of like a little bit of a debuff in there. It's not a huge reduction to enemy attack power, but it's pretty good. It's all right. <laughs> Now go ahead and getting to her Union Burst. For normal Union Burst, the live on stage, it increases all allies' physical attack power. Not all that much, but it's nice. It raises her physical and magic defense power, and it will taunt all enemies. Okay, that's really good for the Union Burst, and she needs taunts. She really, really needs the taunts. Upgraded, though. Upgraded, it does all of that. All right. And it will give allies even more attack power. So that mechanic of it is increased. Everybody gets a damage shield. So it doesn't matter if it's physical or magic damage. It's an absorption shield in general. And it also busts everyone's physical and magic defense power. So everyone's magic defense goes up. Everyone's physical defense goes up. Everyone's attack power, physical attack power goes up. And in addition, it stuns everybody. The enemies, not, not not your own teams, it's just the enemies. Make, be clear with that. So her union burst goes from being, okay, it's a taunt, a little bit extras to it, helpful. To being taunt, a lot of extras, really helpful. Okay, <laughs> so the, the upgrade to the six star is very much worth it. And plus that extra almost 6,000 overall power that she gets from that. That makes Nozomi a contender at six star for best tank in the game. Is it? Maybe, maybe. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm not doing the spear thing. You guys are going to be shocked. I'm not doing the spear thing. And this, I, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to forward two. It's double drop. It's hard mode stuff. I need these shards because I don't have her five star yet. So we're going to do this. Now let's go ahead and get Nozomi in there. Hopefully she can do enough DPS to really get through. Oh, yes, DPS won't be a problem. It's speed. Eh, she'll be fine. Should be fine. All right. Now, Nozomi in general, before you get the six-star mechanic or anything like that, she was a good overall rounded tank, right? But in terms of, like, being a pure tank, she really wasn't all that, that good. Like, early on, especially if you're playing global or whatever, Nozomi is, like, the super awesome tank. She is great. And that's her upgraded universe uh, animation there. Yep, stunned the, stunned the bat cat. That, that is a bat cat. I'm pretty sure that's a bat cat. All right, but anyways, 
she was a good she, in God global she's a good tank she's a great tank okay June kind of sort of edges her out a little bit but she's got the taunt so Nozomi and June are still kind of eh, right there on JP Nozomi kind of faded to the back okay she you could still use her if you especially if you need somebody with a taunt or whatever you could control that'd be perfectly fine it's great but she got kind of got relegated and pushed away right with this six star all her defenses got better her attack got better her skills get a little bit better the, the, the union burst gets incredible so it, basically if you want a tank that i think might actually outshine pecorine six star okay pecorine at six star was generally considered the super king ultimate overall best pure tank right just just pure tank well nozomi is still pure tank in that same regards but she has all these other benefits that go along with her and it helps your whole team now like previously she gave a little physical attack up you know what did he do it wasn't all that much you know on on global you know it's fairly significant on jp it was relegated to nothing more or less it, it was great, but now she's buffing the whole team with all these kind of defensive buffs and everything, not just taking care of herself, taking care of others. It does the stun, so if you throw her in the arena and she happens to get that off, that's really, really good. Otherwise, just against other random stuff or whatever, If even, even if you took the stun mechanic completely out of it, take the stun mechanic completely out of it, she's still a killer freaking tank. It really is. So... In my is she the best overall tank in the game now? Hmm. I'm gonna have to say when you throw in that added utility, those added buffs. Yeah, she is. She's the best damn tank in the game now. At six stars. I don't see anybody really matching her. Six star Pecorine, in terms of pure tank, is just godly. Okay? And she goes like in a smidge past that only because her buffs and everything benefit everyone I, you know pecorine is like i guess you could say pecorine is a tank that's a little selfish with her buffs and her heels because she only help her helps herself whereas nozomi all the peoples because she's an idol and she's like half the peoples and dancing around and stuff uh like share subscribe hit that notification button guys it really helps the channel grow and yeah if you everybody's gonna have nozomi Everybody's going to have the dungeon coins for Nozomi. Getting her to six star, everybody's going to be able to do it, especially if you're over on global. If you're on global, there's a good chance if you've been playing since the beginning, you already got Nozomi at five stars, right? And just save up some of the dungeon coins so when her unique equipment comes out, you got 50 left over or more to get it equipped. There you go with that. And then try to save another 50 or whatever when six star comes out in three years on global or more. Probably more. Yeah. Uh, maybe don't need to prep that far ahead of time, but this is an awesome tank on JP. I'm going to be using her more. I really am looking forward to some clan battles, some Luna Tower, some crazy stuff where I can actually make really good use of her. I would throw her into some arena, but I haven't got a chance to yet. That's another one of those characters I really want to experiment, like Summer Hatsune and a few others. So I'll be working on that. You guys work on that like, share, subscribe buttons and everything. Really appreciates it, and we'll see you in the next video.